Hey guys, in this video we're going to be solving a 2004 Iranian Math Olympiad problem in which we are given that the floor of n squared divided by 3 is a prime number, such that n is a natural number and we want to solve for n. But before we go on, consider subscribing and ring the bell to not miss my latest videos and to hit the like button if you find this video helpful. Now before solving our problem, let's go ahead and review two of the properties of the floor function that I'm going to use in this video. So the first one states that the floor of an integer is equal to that integer itself. And the second one states that the floor of a number plus an integer is equal to the floor of that number and then plus that integer. So we're going to use these two properties to solve our problem. Now notice that n is a natural number. And we know that any natural number can be expressed in either of these three forms, either in the form of 3 times an integer, or in the form of 3 times an integer and then plus 1, or in the form of 3 times an integer plus 2. So we have three scenarios for n, and we're going to use them to solve our problem. And the reason I used uh, 3 is because we have 3 in the bottom of our fraction. So let's say, let's say n is in the form of 3 times k, where k is an integer. So in that way, our number, the floor of n squared divided by 3, is going to be the floor of 9k squared divided by 3, which gives us the floor of 3k squared. Now, since k is an integer, 3 times k squared is an integer, and the floor of an integer is the integer itself, so this equals 3k squared. Now, we want this to be a prime, therefore, k squared must be equal to 1, because otherwise, if k squared is something greater than 1, then our number would be a composite number and not a prime number. So, k squared has to be equal to 1, and notice that since n is a natural number, k has to be a positive number, right? Therefore, k equals 1. Now, if k equals 1, n is going to be 3 because, you know, 3 times 1 is 3. So we can test this and see if it's valid. Let's say n is 3. Then our number, the floor of n squared divided by 3, is going to be the floor of 9 divided by 3, which is equal to the floor of 3, which is equal to 3. And 3 is a prime number, therefore n equals 3 is a valid solution. Now let's go ahead and say that n is in the form of 3k plus 1, where k is an integer. And that way our number is going to be equal to the floor of 9k squared plus 6k plus 1, all divided by 3. Now we can break this fraction into three fractions. So this equals the floor of 9k squared divided by 3 plus 6k divided by 3 plus 1 third, which gives us the floor of 3k squared plus 2k plus 1 third. Now, since k is an integer, we can obviously say that this is an integer. And we know that the floor of an integer plus a number is going to be equal to that integer plus the floor of that number. So the floor of 1 third is equal to 0. So this equals 3k squared plus 2k, which can be factored as k times 3k plus 2. Now we want this number to be prime, right? So for this to be a prime, one of these two factors has to be equal to one. But notice that 3k plus two cannot be equal to one because if it equals one, then 3k is gonna be negative one, which means that k is not gonna be an integer, right? So 3k plus two, can't equal 1. Therefore, k has to equal to 1, 
And if k equals 1, we know that n is equal to 3k plus 1. Therefore, n is going to be 3 times 1 plus 1, which equals 4. Now we can test this as well. So if n equals 4, then our number, the floor of n squared divided by 3, is going to equal the floor of 16 third, which equals the floor of 15 third plus 1 third, which gives us the floor of 5 plus 1 third, which equals 5 plus the floor of 1 third, which equals 5. We could have also said that 16 third is between 5 and 6, therefore the floor of 16 third is equal to 5. Either way, 5 is a prime number, and that means that n equals 4 is a valid solution. Now finally, let's assume that n is in the form of 3k plus 2, where k is an integer. In that way, our number, the floor of n squared divided by 3, is going to equal the floor of 9k squared plus 12k plus 4, all divided by 3. So again, we need to break this fraction into multiple fractions. So I'm going to write it as 9, 9k squared divided by 3 plus 12k divided by 3 plus, now I'm going to break 4 into 3 plus 1, so I would have 3 over 3 plus 1 third, which gives us the floor of 3k squared plus 4k plus 1 plus 1 third. So again, since k is an integer, this part is an integer, so I can put it out. 3k squared plus 4k plus 1 plus d floor of 1 third, which is equal to 0 which gives us 3k squared plus 4k plus 1. Now, in order to factor this, we need to break 4k into k plus 3k. So this equals 3k squared plus 3k plus k plus 1. And then we can factor out 3k out of these two. So we get 3k times k plus 1 plus k plus 1. Now, obviously, k plus 1 is the common factor, so we get k plus 1 times 3k plus 1. Now, similar to the previous scenario, one of these two factors has, has to equal to 1. But the thing is, if k plus 1 equals 1, then k is going to be 0. And if 3k plus 1 equals 1, k is going to be 0 as well. So it doesn't matter which one is going to be equal to 1. Either way, we will have k equals 0. Now, since n is in the form of 3k plus 2, we can clearly say that n is going to equal to 2. But the thing is, once we replace n with 2, our number is not going to be a prime number. So our number is n squared divided by 3, the floor of n squared divided by 3. So if you replace n with 2, we will have the floor of 4 third, which is equal to the floor of 1 plus 1 third, which equals 1 plus the floor of 1 third, which equals 1. But we know that 1 is not a prime number, therefore n equals 2 is not a valid solution. Now the reason this is not a valid solution is because once k is equal to 0, this is going to be 1, this is going to be 1, and 1 times 1 is equal to 1. And we know that 1 is not a prime number. Anyways, n equals 2 is not a valid solution. So if the floor of n squared divided by 3 is prime, where n is a natural number, the only solutions are n equals 3 and n equals 4. Great. This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please consider subscribing for more contents like this and hit the like button if you find this video helpful. Hopefully I will see you later. Goodbye for now.